Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at uh, some cool ships built by Prime, and I'm um, just going to be taking a look at the line here. So, like I say, got quite a big one over here. Beautiful. So I'm going to get back over to the line. Ditch the Enterprise in favour of a better Enterprise. This is the Tamino Prize <laughs> B. I'm loving this mammoth tank, by the way. That's what it is. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is, yeah. And then obviously we've got this mech. Lovely little containers. What looks like a dropship. The ISS. Then we've got the Trident. So we'll try ship. We've got something rather large. Something very large in fact. Yeah, the really large ship is probably the Saratoga. It's really beautiful. That that one there is a very much work in progress. I've done a lot of work on it since. It took me about four hours in a uh, smed it to shrink it down from its original size. <laughs> right, uh, right. Because obviously the uh, ships over 800 weren't really allowed. So uh, I had to shrink it down, but unfortunately I could only get it down to uh, 917. And then there's the house ship? Yeah, that was for the Rome, Rome ship. Um, nice. I asked if I could make a uh, faction ship for it, so that I could have a little MC there. So he gave me the blueprint and I modified it slightly. Nice. Right, well, I'm going to get my shuttle, and uh, hopefully by the time you're here... I won't let me put my helmet on. Right, well, I'm in my shuttle, so off I pop. So, let's take a look at this tank then. What's it called? Uh, this is the Mammoth Tank Mark II. Yep. Um, generally built it because uh, on the Mushroom Fleet server somebody mentioned a tank arena. Yep. So I quickly built this to uh, compete in it. Nice. So let's take a look inside. Lots of shields. <laughs> yeah, lots of shields. There are uh, two viewing decks as well. Hmm. Yeah. For those people, I would say for instance you want passengers in here, they can uh, call out targets for you. Nice. I like it. AI turret and then pilot control. Yep, uh, the turret will be on a selected target, but also so it'll only also manned, yeah. Very nice. So what's the next one? Uh, the next one is, uh, it's called Prime's Mech. This was another um, competition build for uh, mech battles, yep. which were also planned on uh, the Mushroom Fleet server. So I rushed this together for it. There you go. It's a lovely mech. Uh, it has two turret arms, which are a selected target as well. Uh, if I just get in it, we'll show you its uh, cockpit shielding. Oh. Ooh. So, say for instance, you're taking a lot of damage from the front, you yeah. can uh, just close, well, you could put the shields up on it. 
extra layer. Extra so, yeah, layer. What, <clears throat> what you're saying is uh, it's a different version. No worries. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just imagine everybody that there's black stars over it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so what's this next one here? What's this? Containers of some kind? Standardized containers? The next one is the drop pod for the ISS. Yep. Or the interstellar shuttle. Uh, this is the APC pod. So if you're going into Grand Combat, um, you can fit up to eight people in here and uh, they can sit comfortably while uh, being transported to the battle area planet. And then this just gets dropped from above, lands on the planet, and then they all get out and uh, just cause total destruction. Huh. Cool. I like it. And then the one behind it is a shipping container variant, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the other one behind is a shipping container. It's uh, mainly for uh, resupply. Got you. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Lots of resupply. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And then obviously this is the carrier that carries. Yep, this is the ISS or Interstellar Shuttle. Which is from a uh, space above and beyond. Wow. Minus the turrets. Uh, the turrets are different in the TV series, but due to uh, build, they had to be built like this. Yeah. That's fair enough. Looks nice. But as you can see, it looks like a pelican from Halo. Kinda, yeah. Because the guy who designed. Uh, the ships in Halo was actually the guy who designed all the ships in the TV series Space Above and Beyond. Oh right, I didn't know that. A bit of fun facts there. Alright, well what's the uh, next ship then? That was cool. What was it called again? Sorry? <coughs> the ISS. Right, and then what is this one that I can't see because it has inherent stealth abilities? <laughs> uh, this one is the Chick Fighter, also from Space Above and Beyond. Yeah, people were loving the uh, the build, by the way, in the uh, comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very, very difficult ship to make. I mean, some people say it looks kind of like a scorpion. Mm. With uh, the three triangular... Um, it's very interesting. I don't know what you'd call it. It's really nice. <laughs> very difficult to catch it in a good light, but I think I've just yeah. about got the light to catch up most of the sides there. Very unusual. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I do like the, the engine on it as well. Yeah, the, the triangular, triangular engine. engine special. Yeah. So what's the next one? What's this? Uh, the next one is the Chig Bomber. Yep. Which is exactly the same as the Chig Fighter. The only difference is is the um, the forward hull, which is the bomber part, which yeah. cont contains the, uh, the missile arrays. Oh, and, wow. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just the, the first one with a giant missile launcher. Yeah. Wow. I guess that's got a bit of power on it, yeah? Hey, it's got a bit of a kick to it, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that one was the Chig Bomber. What is the next ship? <clears throat> the next ship is... This is an old version uh, of the work in progress that I'm doing, which is the USS Saratoga. Right. from space above and beyond. This is the main carrier ship for the ISSs and the Hammerheads. Nice. So you've made the full fleet then? Uh, apart from the Hammerheads, it's the only thing that I haven't uh, built at the moment because I've been working on the uh, Saratoga and um, I kind of get sidetracked with uh, little projects. How uh, much have you had to do to the Saratoga so far? Uh, quite a lot. Um, if you look at it now, the main uh, the main control area, which is the top triangular area, um, that has had a complete overhaul. It's probably be about twice the size it is now to what it is here. Um, there's a lot of work on it to it. Um, I've changed the turrets on the back. It now has two turrets on the back. Uh, the viewing gallery on the rear 
on the um, the main deck. Um, that has been outfitted, so it has a like canteen area. There are uh, male and female toilets in there. <laughs> male and female. Um, yeah, um, the lift that runs down the main part of the uh, main control deck um, runs down to about halfway through the ship, so that it goes down to the ISS. Uh, dock and uh, with the new build and the uh, grab blocks you can actually go through it on, on my new version that I've got anyway okay I'm just about to uh, take a little explore uh, male and female toilets <laughs> and we've got the elevator forward to what I would assume is at yeah, the back more and more doors oh diagonal doors hey oh, oh, <laughs> that's you. the main canteen area on the main deck and uh, not the main deck on the, down the control deck the elevator. wow cavernous doesn't cover it <laughs> yeah, this this thing's big. What? <laughs> you get lost in here, man. Yeah, I mean this one doesn't have the um, the ISS dock in it, whereas my new oh, one yeah. does. So are you just gonna leave this open for docking inside? Um, if you come over to the right hand side of the ship, you'll see a large um, hex. Oh, is it hexagonal? Yeah. Um, that there ah, yeah. um, is plex stored on my other build that I've got. Right, yeah. And on the new the, one, yeah. On the new one, yeah. And the ISSs um, open the plex doors, they drop down into it. And then in there is where eight of the ISSs drop and uh, dock into it. And there is also room for four, no, sorry, eight extra um, pods. So they can have a pod on it when it's docked, plus there are four, uh, eight extra docked. Hmm. So if it gets damaged, it can come pick up a new one. Hmm. Very nice. <coughs> and then uh, to the left of that, you'll notice there's a, a large cylinder running down the entire length of the ship. Yeah. That is known as the Planet Buster. Ooh, a planet buster. Which, yeah, which on <laughs> my previous version of this, when I actually had it fitted before I had to shrink it down, um, once fired at a planet, it probably took about 30 seconds for it to hit the planet and it disintegrated the whole planet. Whoa. Well, but it did suck up all my power. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. I think we've looked at everything now, haven't we? <clears throat> yeah. I do have a couple more things to add to this. That's uh, right. to my lineup. You can do which, a second uh, lineup, see? Yep. With the new and improved idea. Saratoga. Exactly, with the new and improved Saratoga and everything else in between. So thank you, Prime, for joining me. Not a problem. Thank and you for I, having me. And I look forward to seeing more of these. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you, as always, next time.